Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and I'll be playing the five minute blitz today on Lee Chess. So yeah, let's see how it goes. We'll try to be instructive as much as possible during the game. We'll start off at d4, trying to set up the London system. Oh, he offers a pawn, so let's take it. Okay, the bishop gets developed first. And then the knight to f3, developing the minor pieces. Uh, just a slow move maybe, but e3 required to open up the diagonal for the bishop. He is giving pawn. Um, let's take. Okay. And now the move c3. Because I'm looking forward to a few ideas here. It can actually start with move away the bishop from here so that I can take on the pawn. So b4 and as he moves the bishop back i can take on with queen or bishop is the question let's take with the queen if he wants to exchange i'm happy where does he go with the queen if he doesn't want to exchange probably here the only square yep if you don't want to exchange, he has to take the queen. He takes, I take back. We'll just try to pin the knight. He removes the pin, but I can take. It's got a bishop pair, which is good. Can I castle here? Or shall I castle queen side here? Uh, castling queen side would be slow, I guess. I have to castle on the king side. He cannot castle on the king side for now. The bishop is in the diagonal. Uh, one of the ideas would be to take the knight on e5, trying to take on the bishop. Can get the bishop back and exchange the knight square bishop as well. Have to develop the knight. Maybe here not uh, on d2 because his rook can come and then bishop would be pinned. Uh, okay, I can move the bishop because the knight would be guarded by the other knight. So, but if he takes the knight first with the bishop, then it changes. Okay, so some ideas there. What has he got in mind? He's trying to take on the pawn maybe, if I develop the knight. He's trying to restrict that and attack the bishop, more importantly. So... I don't want to lose any pawns. I'll try to attack the pawn on g7, which makes him castle as well. Uh, this looks good to me if he wants to exchange the dark square bishops. Now he can. Oh, so he doesn't want. And since he doesn't want. I definitely want that. Now you take or I take a light square bishop. Can still save. But that gives me some development scope now. Can I push the pawn forward in the next move? Yep. 
looks a good plan. Kick the knight away from your king side. Attacking the bishop. If he leaves the diagonal, I can attack the rook. If he takes, I take back. And plus two feels a bit comfortable. What else he can do? Let's think from his side. He can get a rook in between. Let the pawn go. Let the bishop go. But if I take his bishop, that's bad for him. It spoils his pawn structure. This will become an isolated pawn on the C file. Uh, which is never good. Also, the A file is not opened yet. So, I can probably have some good pawns in the end game okay he takes the bishop back probably i can kick that knight now the knight goes back and now i'm pinning the knight he can't move the knight his rook is hanging so i can take on the knight for sure in the next move he is trying to kick my knight away which is okay i'll prefer taking his knight out of the game first okay and now I have to retrieve what better than retrieving and attacking at the same time so makes more sense let's get the other knight as well into the game which he will now attack with his rook he'll get the rook maybe yep on the center file and so do i not in a hurry to oh he pins okay after he takes i take back he cannot take the rook so looks fine looks fine yep oh he's trying to align the rooks but that gives me some space to move the knight or my other rook as well uh, if i move the rook is this good enough yep it is he's attacking the knight maybe it's not Am I going peace down here? If I move, he takes, I take back, he takes the rook, I take, I lose a piece. If I move away, my rook, I don't lose a rook at least. this is fine now if he takes a knight either he gives his rook for the two knights or he gives his or he lets he lets things be a bit passive by just exchanging the bishop and the knight probably that was it in the previous move i could have done something else i guess uh I still cannot do much here. That's the sad part. Just push the pawn. Okay, he finally decides to take. Takes, takes. Can I take and exchange the rooks? Okay, he's giving check. Wasting some time. I cannot do much here. I have to move the pawn. Is moving pawn safe? Let's move the pawn. 
want to open up the e-file. It's not going to be made. Let's push it further. I just need to control this. Okay, he takes. I can give a check. No, I can't. Let's take. We're on time. Yep. Close on time. Let's analyze the game. Of course, it was in lax favor at the end. But where did I made a mistake and where could I have played better? Okay, so we'll start with start with d4, he plays e5, a bad move, so I take. He develops the knight and I develop the bishop here. He develops his dark square bishop. I develop the knight on f3. Queen to e7. And now e3. He plays d6 here. I capture. He takes back with the pawn. I play c3. He plays h6, very passive. Yep, the right move, pushing the pawn forward to b4. Making sure the bishop goes out of defense. Okay, I had to take with the bishop here, but probably equal weightage. Nothing much changed. Taking back with the bishop. As you can see, white is ahead in the games uh, till now. Controlling a lot of stuff. Okay, what was the right move here? Developing the knight. Okay, I rather went for pinning the knight straight away. He removes the pin and I took on the knight he takes back he's got a bishop pair so a little bit come back in the game and I here I castle he tries to attack the bishop by moving knight to e4 so the bishop comes back on e5 and the diagonal he castles I tried to just close the center file the d file he gets his bishop now uh, to c7. I played the knight to e5. He doesn't take. Here I played f3, trying to push the knight away. Knight goes back to d6. Here I pin the knight. Okay, I didn't need to pin it. I just had to go on with my pawns. So the a pawn had to move. I play the bishop here. He tries to kick away the knight. I take on, he takes back, I go to c4. So pretty even game, I would say here. I couldn't capitalize on the early advantage. Still one point in favor of uh, the white. I develop the other knight. He gets his rook centralized. So do I, but by moving the rook to d1. Okay, he could have got his bishop and probably uh, tried to create some trouble, but yeah, this was also nice getting the bishop on uh, c4 oh sorry b b5 uh, pinning the knight uh, and i moved a3 that was a bad move he could have just moved away my rook from the center file there and okay so he could have won a piece maybe after he moves i have to move my rook away to save it um uh, suppose i move my rook that's bad because he's now going to pin my knight and both the knights are connected so either one of them is going it's being attacked with the rook and this one is attacking the knight so that could have been a one big blunder and if i don't save the rook but move the knight which is the best move still i'm losing because he takes on and after i take this is pretty much good situation for him it's two points in the favor of uh Black here, I've gone down in exchange already. So yeah, good move there, and I missed controlling it. Uh, here, computer sessioning just removed the pin immediately, so that if he still takes, of course, you can take back, and things are solid. But he won't take uh, if he takes the knight. Oh, he can't. OK. Or he can. One second. Go here, and he takes. 
and I take back. He takes my rook as well. After I take, it's in white's favor because I've got the knight and the bishop is pretty inactive. Okay, got it. So I shouldn't have let his rooks aligned, which I did let him do it. And once he does, there's like pretty less options remaining. I moved away, he doesn't take, but plays the rook. I had to play the pawn here, removing the pin, okay. I rather went, oh, this was again a bad move. I was trying to maybe play on time here, like 36 seconds for both. Okay, this was probably, could have been the end of the game. Pinning the knight with the bishop and I, both the knights have pinned. So that was a bad move. He takes, now I take back, he takes with the rook, I try to exchange the rooks, gives a check, I just move away. He has to maintain his rook because uh, he didn't have time to capitalize uh, with the end game. So here he started moving his rook, and my uh, king away in the center, and I just tried to push my pawn forward. Again, just playing around with the rooks. He takes the pawn. Uh, and eventually, I think I sank the rook as well, yeah. Of course, it's completely losing here, but I was trying to play on time at the end. And yep, that's it. So, yeah, he played well. I missed a couple of bishop moves. Bishop pairs are always deadly. You cannot control them quite easily. So, always try to make sure that you eliminate the bishop pair from the game as soon as possible. Uh, here, I couldn't do that. I just could ex uh, eliminate his knight pair. Which of course is also deadly, but not as deadly as the bishop in the uh, when the files are open completely. Here the files and here the diamonds were completely opened up, so bishops are more affected in effective in uh, games where the position is open. Where the position is closed, then of course knights are favorites. So yeah, that is one of the lessons to be learned from the game. I hope uh, you enjoyed the uh, video, and please do let me know in your comments. Subscribe. Uh, my channel for latest updates and definitely try out these openings and games in your uh, chess uh, clubs and everywhere all right thank you so much for your time take care bye bye